I mean, the argument is, and it's a ridiculous argument, that the reason we have to have wooden, I mean, metal bats and collegiate baseball is to save money. Now, these very schools that have objected to the cost of wooden bats have maybe 15 football coaches. I mean, any one of which, the, the shoes for the football coach would pay for the, the wooden bats. But because wooden bats are not used in college baseball, professional baseball wants to see how kids play with a wooden bat. So these leagues, these so-called wooden bat leagues, perform a valuable service. They let scouts see kids from the good baseball programs in the summertime playing with wooden bats. And Major League Baseball supports that because that's, a, that's an attraction. The scouts come around, sit behind home plate, and watch kids throw and bat using wooden bats. Each summer, in regions all over the country, elite college baseball players gather to compete in wooden bat leagues to improve their overall game and impress the Major League Scouts attending. These leagues serve as a valuable tool for Major League Baseball in getting a first-hand look at the premier college talent in the nation. At Alumni Field in Keene, New Hampshire, the community bears witness to summer ball at its finest. Competing in the New England Collegiate Baseball League, the Keene Swamp Bats arrive each June. 25 fresh faces, ripe from a full college schedule, with everything to prove. The reality is that very few of these college players will ever make it to the major leagues. And yet, with youth on their side and the future uncertain, one thing is clear. All of these boys will look back one day, no matter where their journey leads, knowing how it felt to have once had their eye on a dream. It all begins with desire, a beating heart, round an ancient fire. A destiny's dance, lifting us higher than we've ever been before. And blind to what we are given, into this world we are driven to prove ourselves that we're truly living forever after, forevermore. And in twilight. 